Lua, a fast, multi-paradigm scripting language famous for being so underrated. Imagine a language that's easier to learn than Python, while also being faster and more portable than Python. Lua was named after the moon when it was designed by a team of computer scientists in Brazil in 1993. It's lightweight and extremely fast because its virtual machine maps very closely to C, and when used with its just-in-time compiler, it's widely considered the fastest scripting language in the world. This makes it ideal for embedding into other applications, like World of Warcraft or Roblox, for example, where you Users can write Lua to build their own games and features because the language is embedded into the base game. It's easy to learn because it has only 21 reserved words and has only one data structuring mechanism called a table that can represent arrays, dictionaries, graphs, trees, and more. It also supports collaborative multitasking with coroutines. Its standard library is very minimal, but it does have a large ecosystem of packages with the Lua Rocks package manager. To get started, install it, then create a file ending in .lua. Declare a variable by providing a name and value. By default, variables are global, but make them local with the local keyword. It's a dynamic language, so no type annotations are required. We can then use print to output the value to the standard output. There are no classes in Lua, but anything you can imagine can be done with functions and tables. A function is declared with the function keyword, then closed with the end keyword. Functions are first-class objects, which means they can be passed around to other functions to support functional programming patterns. Now to structure data, you create tables with braces. A table is actually an associative array, which means the index in the array can be replaced with different values. By default, it uses integer values, and the craziest thing about this language is that it starts the index at 1 instead of 0 like most languages. That gives us a conventional array, but we can also easily create a dictionary by giving the keys a string value. Now we can use for to loop over every key value pair in the table. The language is single-threaded, but we can use coroutines to pause and resume a function. Create a coroutine, then use yield to suspend its execution. Now somewhere else in the code, use coroutine resume to continue execution execution until you get to the return statement. Now if you're a C programmer, you'll be happy to know that Lua has a very simple C API. It allows us to run Lua code inside a C program, or vice versa, run C code from a Lua program. Now to execute your code, open up the terminal and run the Lua interpreter. This has been Lua in 100 seconds. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.